So John's been around for about three and a half years now. Initially it was um, uh, founded by some engineers in Silicon Valley. Like all of us, we're all hobby photographers and they were you know, on a trip and took pictures and came back and like all of us should go, these pictures don't do justice. So one of them decided to make a spherical camera so they could capture the whole world. It was right around the time that VR was taking off, so it was like perfect timing to take this technology that we're developing and use it for virtual reality. And we formed a studio about a year and a half ago to really uh, complement the technology that we're building with creative. So what, we, what can we do with this whole new medium and with the studio here in Los Angeles, how can we work with filmmakers and storytellers to really push the technology? We like to say we focus on four different areas of content. We've done things in sports, so it's, it's giving fans access to things they don't normally get access to, whether you pay for a ticket to go to the game or watching on television. So whether it's getting access to behind the scenes in a locker room or training or you know, areas, like we like to say, it's, we can take fans to places they don't get access to. We've done things in music where you can be on stage with Paul McCartney, The Grateful Dead, but you can also be in their, their personal private recording studios, which you can't pay a ticket for. So they're almost like performing just for you. You get that personal connection with an artist. Um, we've done things in travel and adventure where, again, that sense of presence of you know, hiking in Nepal with some of the greatest climbers in the world. You know, that's an amazing experience. And we're doing original stories as well. So we're working with uh, Doug Lyman, who, who's best known for a lot of big Hollywood films, on an original idea that he developed. And it's a series I'm going to launch um, early this fall. And we're getting into a little bit more long form storytelling, but we're doing it episodically. So again, we're pushing this medium in a lot of different areas from, like I said, music, sports, travel, and original stories. A lot of people producing VR now, um, there's not a lot of technology you can just buy or license. So a lot of people have been building their own cameras and, and figuring out how to do post-production. So we've been at this for a number of years now. So we, we built a camera that captures the entire world in stereo 3D which we also think is also very important. It gives you that more of that sense of immersion than just 2D. We also capture at a much higher resolution than we actually display. I mean, we're, we're processing footage at 8, 10, 12K, so the content has, it's future-proof. So as the goggles, the quality of the goggles improve, our content can just migrate to better resolutions as well because we're capturing at such high resolution. The, the real advantage of John is having both the creative and technology under one roof, you know, because we're, we're pushing each other. And, you know, there's companies who are focusing just on content or just on technology. We really think it's important at this stage of VR that the two have to be, you know, working together seamlessly to really establish this whole new medium. So I'd say that's probably our, our biggest advantage is having, um, you know, both creative and technology.